Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Holder Act channel. Uh, this week, we're going to go over something a little bit different than what we usually talk about. I'm just going to teach you real quick how to set up a two PC streaming setup. I spent about two weeks in complete technical purgatory trying to make this thing work correctly and in those two weeks i couldn't find a single useful video on how to do this so if you've made a video like that or you know of a video like that congratulations i didn't find it so we're going to go over how to set this up in streamlabs obs using an elgato 60s capture card okay that's exactly what we're going to use if that's exactly what you have this is going to work a hundred percent and if it doesn't Oops, I don't know, it should. <laughs> Let's go. The first thing we're gonna go over is gonna be your hardware, okay? So first of all, your webcam and your mic are gonna go to your streaming computer. So they're no longer gonna be in your gaming computer. They're just gonna plug those things directly into your streaming computer. We'll go over what to do with them later. Next, you're gonna take your Elgato 60S capture card, right? You're gonna have HDMI out, and then on the other side you have HDMI in, and then USB 3.0 Type-C. This is for analog audio, we're going to ignore it. You're gonna plug this, the HDMI, into your graphics card on your gaming computer, and then you're going to take this USB, and you're gonna plug that into the USB port on your streaming computer, okay? So, webcam, mic, this thing, plugged into your streaming computer, and then your HDMI, um, HDMI in on your gaming computer. Hardware side of this, done. So on our gaming PC, the only software you need to have installed is going to be the Elgato Sound Capture. I believe when I downloaded this, I had to download it through Elgato Game Capture, and then the Sound Capture was a secondary download through that. You might be able to get it by itself. I don't know. That's how I got it. With the Sound Capture, what you're going to do is you're just going to go over to PC Gaming, click that, and then you're going to make sure that you say you want to hear your PC Gaming none. You don't want to hear it on this computer and you want it sent through the HD60S, okay? And then NVIDIA High Definition Audio, that's gonna be, um, you know, that could change via your computer, but you make sure you wanna send it through the HD60S. And that is going to be all you have to do on your gaming PC. Now we're gonna move on to the streaming PC. I'm gonna set up a whole brand new uh, scene for you guys so you can see exactly how to do everything. Uh, we're gonna add the webcam and we're gonna add the video source from the capture card and then I'll leave everything else up to your own creativity. But the thing with the capture card is there's a lot of things you have to do to make it not look like total ass. So let's do that first. We're gonna go to video capture device. We're gonna add a new device and then add a new source We'll call this uh, the Cat 60S, boom. And then it's gonna default, go to your webcam, change the webcam down to the Elgato. Then we are going to change device default to custom. We'll make that 1080p, we'll make this 60, okay? And then video format, whatever. Uh, we're gonna make sure buffering is off. If you don't turn off buffering, you're gonna get weird stuttering. And then for the audio output mode, we're going to turn that to wave out. This is the exact settings that you're going to want to use, okay? And then we're just going to add the webcam, exact same way. Video capture device, boom, add source, add new source, cam. Then you got your webcam here. All this stuff is fine. Um, if you want, you can add a chroma filter to that later, but that's, you know, that's beyond the scope of this video and it's not stuff that I really need to get into right now. I had to go back and edit this in just to make everything make as much sense as possible so sorry the camera just disappeared but one of the things I want to make sure that you know to do in case you have any issues with it is your desktop audio setting over here you absolutely need to make sure that this thing is set to whatever your desktop audio happens to be for me mine that would be the speakers real tech high definition audio if you don't set that and 
you just leave it at default, there's a really, really good chance that you won't hear anything ever, and it's going to drive you completely insane. There is also a potential for the default desktop audio function to just not work whatsoever. So you may have to go in and put an audio output capture that you just, you know, call desktop audio yourself. And then you're going to add that in as a secondary source, and then you're going to make that thing your desktop audio, so speakers, Realtek, high definition audio. Just make sure that you have something in your Streamlabs that's actually, you know, pumping out your desktop audio that the Elgato is pumping into the Streamlabs program, or you're going to have a really bad time. In the spirit of trying to make your life as easy as possible, we're going to go over your video output and encoder settings. This is going to be for people who are not yet Twitch affiliates or potentially Twitch affiliates, but not necessarily Twitch partners, okay? So hit a cog, you're going to go over to output, and then let's put that over on advanced. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to put that on the NVEC-C hardware. If you don't, you're going to use the X264 software. We're going to go over the hardware side of it first. So we're going to rescale the output down to 1280 by 720. We're going to put that rate control on CBR, bit rate at 3000, and then our preset will be quality and our max B frames are 2. The reason why we're doing all of this is A, because those are the exact settings that Twitch tells us to use at 720p by 60 FPS. And then you're going to say, well, why are we using 720p when we have two PC set up here? It's because there's going to be a lot of people watching your stream on their phone off Wi-Fi. And so what you want to do is you don't want to be pumping out this crazy high def max bitrate stream that most people can't even watch because it'll be a buffering mess of garbage. And unless you're a Twitch partner, you're not guaranteed video encoding. So they're going to see that, see that they can't downscale it to an appropriate size, and then turn off your stream. So with this, you're going to be taking in the stream at 1080p, but then you're going to be pumping it out at 720p, and if people want to downscale further, if you're a Twitch affiliate and you're given access to an encoder, they can do that if they want. Then, we're going to go into the video settings. We're going to make sure that the output scaled resolution is 1280 by 720 and then we're going to make sure that the downscale filter is sharpened scaling 32 samples Lanscos, and then put the FPS value at 30. I know 30 FPS is very low, but again, we're trying to make this stream as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. Going back to the output settings, if you're using the software X264 encoder settings, I'm going to teach you how to do that really quick. We're still going to rescale the output. We're still going to go to 1280 by 720. Still CBR, bit rate at 3000. And then the thing that changes is you're going to have the CPU usage preset. Uh, they recommend somewhere between very fast and medium. The slower you get, so medium, slow, slower, very slow, that's going to be like you have the craziest, most beastly processor on the planet. So somewhere between very fast and medium is going to be pretty good for most people, although you're going to have to kind of play with that and decide what works for you. The profile was just going to be main or high, and then the tune, we're not going to do anything with that whatsoever. Your keyframe intervals will also be two. Two. Okay, and then with our very basic streaming setup that we just created, here I am playing World of Warcraft. We have our uh, in-game sounds being funneled through our streaming setup. We have our game being sent through that, and everything is working perfectly. Fantastic. Okay, that's going to be it for the tutorial on how to set up a dual PC stream. Um, I'll probably be doing more content like this in the future as I add more and more elements to my stream, like I 
going to constantly want to add more things to it to make it cooler and and more interactive and the ones that cause me the absolute most stress i'll make sure to make little videos like this about them to help other people do the exact same thing so if you like this content and you want to see more of it Give me that like and subscribe, ring the bell, ding dong, giggity do. Tell me stuff in the comments that you want to see me make tutorials about. Tell me how this didn't work for you so I can make another video about how to fix it for your specific case. Otherwise, guys, check me out on Twitch. I'm at The Holder Hack. I stream four days a week. And until next time, you guys have a fantastic day, week, month, year. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.